Hi guys, it's Tom from The Mines, and I'm here to talk about ocean jasper. Now, a lot of people are wondering what is ocean jasper? The best definition I could find was that it is a rare, colorful material that comes from the northern part of Madagascar that has a range of colors from reds, greens, yellows, pinks, white, but there's a lot that goes into ocean jasper, so we're gonna look into that today. So ocean jasper is actually a variety of orbicular jasper, which can be found all over the world. This particular orbicular jasper is only found in northern Madagascar because it's the trade name of the mines that bring up the material there. So the colors that are present in ocean jasper come from a variety of materials that are included within the host material, which tends to be a rhyolite quartz-based mineral. The reds usually come from hematite or iron inclusions, while the yellow and gray colors come from clay inclusions. So like I said before, ocean jasper is a form of orbicular jasper, but more specifically is defined as a spherolytic chalcedony, ocean jasper being a trade name of this material. And just so we all know, a spherolite is defined as a small rounded body, often with radiating structures made up of fibrous needle-shaped crystals. Grayish white inclusions in snowflake obsidian is an example of spherolites. So while I was researching the uh, information on ocean jasper, I came across a pretty interesting history revolving around this material that you don't really see with many crystals. It is believed that the material was first discovered sometime in the early to mid 1900s. The interest in finding ocean jasper pretty much started around 1977 when a photo of Kambembe Ocean Jasper was included in a French encyclopedia of minerals, which sparked interest in the stone, but it was incorrectly labeled as Kambamba Jasper, and thus the locality, which was Kambambi, was lost. This is what Kambamba Jasper looks like. Ocean Jasper was rediscovered by Paul Obanish when a prospector brought him samples, knowing only that they came from the northwestern coast of Madagascar. After a series of excursions to Madagascar, Ocean Jasper was finally rediscovered in 1999 outside the village of Moravato in Madagascar. But it surprised Paul when there was a larger range of colors due to the picture that piqued his interest was more of a greenish and yellow golden color instead of the wide range that he found in this locality. Ocean Jasper was first introduced to the general public during the 2000 Tucson Gem Show, and by 2001 it finally got its trade name of Ocean Jasper owing to that the deposit discovered during the excursions was on the coast of Madagascar and could only be mined during low tide by boat. And also some pieces looked wavy like ocean waves. Now if you know a lot about Ocean Jasper or are following Ocean Jasper, you probably know that there's all this talk about the different veins and that there's currently eight veins of Ocean Jasper. The first vein, when we talk about the veins, was the rediscovery in 1999 on the coasts of Madagascar. That vein was mined between the years of 1999 and 2006 when it was finally depleted and was probably the largest deposit of ocean jasper that had been discovered. The second vein that was mined of ocean jasper was mined between the years of 2005 and 2006 when it was finally depleted. It had a wider range of colors, including more reds and yellows, with some extremely clear orbs, often in the form of bullseyes. The third vein was found in 2013 and lasted for only about six months before it was considered depleted. And it tended to have pinks, greens, and whites with clearly defined orbs. The fourth vein, found in 2014, only lasted three months and was discovered even further inland, about a third of a mile from the first vein. The fourth vein tends to also have pinks, greens, and whites, and even sometimes yellows. The eighth vein tend to have purples and blues in them, which aren't commonly found in many of the original veins. So you can see here, these ones would be more consistent with the surface mining operation that was the original locality of Ocean Jasper, while well, these tend to be more of what were discovered in the eight veins throughout the many years that Ocean Jasper had been mined in. Something interesting about each vein as they were discovered, it appears that with each vein discovered down 
the line, they've progressively gotten smaller and smaller. So there's no telling how many veins possibly still exist out there, but chances are, if there are more to be discovered, they will probably be in even smaller quantities than that of the previous veins, and thus they would probably be in higher demand. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for the next video when we explore our next mineral of choice.